Hello everybody, Kirk Nelson here with the Pixel Pro. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the new Luminosity Masks action that's available for purchase on the Envato market. So after you've purchased the action and unzipped the downloadable file, you will find a luminositymasks.atn file. This is the actual action file that needs to be installed. And you do that through Photoshop. You'll have to open the actions panel, which is this little right facing play button icon, or you can open it through Windows Actions. With the Actions panel open, go to the top right menu and select Load Actions. From there, select the luminositymasks.atn file and hit Load. Photoshop will add this to the very bottom of your Actions list. It's in a folder called Luminosity Masks. There's only one action. That's the Create Luminosity Masks Adjustment. With that one selected in the Actions panel, just go ahead and hit the Play button. Photoshop runs through the actions and creates some adjustments for you. Now the image won't look any different right away. It's not actually adjusting anything in the image. What it is doing is creating specific adjustments so you can make very controlled edits to this image that are completely seamless. Open up the tonal adjustments folder within your layers panel. You can see we have several bright tonal adjustments, a mid-tones tonal adjustment, and a darks tonal adjustments. Now each of the brights and the darks are separated into four different levels of them. From the highlights to the brights, super brights and ultra brights. Likewise with the darks, it goes from the shadows all the way down to ultra darks. And there's a midtones in the middle. So what does all this mean? Well, watch what happens if we select the adjust brights. Double click on that icon there and we get the curves adjustment panel. Now remember, we're adjusting only the brights. So that means any edits made in this curves adjustment panel is only going to affect the bright values of the image. These are isolated out by their luminous values in a very intuitive and intelligent way, so it's very easy to make very specific edits to pixels based completely on their luminous values. Also, these masks are created from the image themselves, so you'll never have to do any type of selections, and they mask perfectly with this image. In this case, I think maybe the midtones could use a little bit more contrast. So I'll pick the midtones adjustment and add some additional contrast there. I like what that's doing with the image. Let's go down and select adjust uh, super darks and make those darks even darker. Now, not only can you make tonal adjustments to the image, but there's the same hooks for creating the color adjustments. So for each of these, let's say we want to take the dark colors and we want to have a color cast on those. We have a hue saturation adjustment layer assigned just to the darks. So we can actually darken those this way, increase the saturation of them, or even add a little bit of a colorized color tint just to the dark values. But that's not all. Not only do you have adjustments for both color and tonal range, but in the channels panel, you can see each of the selections that are made based on the luminous values of this image. So let's say, for instance, we want to take those super brights and we want to add a photo filter just to the super bright values. You control or command click on that icon and it makes a selection based on just the super brights. Go back to your composite channel before switching over, go to the layers panel, and now let's add a photo filter. This is adding a warm glow effect just to the very super bright pixels within the image. And again, there is no selection necessary. It's not being applied to the entire image, only to those pixels that have the same luminous value that we selected, which in this case was the super brights. Well, thanks guys. I hope this has been helpful and enjoy the luminosity masks action.